Hello everybody, I'm Henry Garza from Los Lonely Boys and uh, I'm here today to uh, sit and talk about uh, some couple of guitar licks, a couple of chords maybe. Um, we, me and my brothers just finished a new record called Rock Bongo uh, and it, it's, it's got, some, uh, got some interesting guitar stuff on there that I uh, might be sharing with you today. We'll see if I can pull it off because uh, you know sometimes uh, the way I play, you can only play it once, and then you try to do it again, it, it won't happen. But uh, you can give it your best shot, and that's what we're here to try to do today, and, uh, and talk about the record and some of the songs, you know. So uh, I love playing guitar. It's, it's, it's been my life ever since I was uh, uh, brought into this world by my mother and father, you know, and uh, I thank the good Lord above for what I do. I, I give credit to him for all the blessing and, and talent and gifts that he's given me in these fingers. Um, music has been... Uh, not just mine, but my whole family's just been a way of life. Uh, so, so to be able to share music, you know, like this, it's just, just uh, it does me great honor and great pleasure. A lot of the guitar parts, myself, I don't always come up with them. My brother Jojo's very musically inclined. He's, he hears things that I can't hear. He hears them on a different level that I don't hear them. Um, sometimes he'll write a guitar piece and, you know, I'll have to just put my little spit and shine on it a little bit just so I can say that it was me playing it and not Jojo all the time, you know. <laughs> I'm just playing Jojo, he's over there somewhere, so. But, um, you know, this record, Rock Bongo, it took, it took a lot of hard work to get this record done. Um, for us, it's a, it, we're really close to it just because we're very proud and, uh, of the songs and uh, the work that we spent on it. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this record. Not the actual band, but there's an actual real blood, sweat, and tears in the record. Um, you know, we, we had to put off uh, the record a couple of times. Uh, we recorded it out in Austin, Texas, out at Willie, Willie Nelson's recording studio in Perdonales. And uh, we always record there. We've recorded, I think, most of our recordings have been there at Willie's studio. Um, but this one it was rough, like I said, to do, man. My, my brother Jojo came down with some uh, throat issues. He had to have some throat surgery, man, on, on uh, his vocal box, which was very scary. Um, cause we went into the studio, we're ready to work and we had the tracks down. I think uh, in just a couple of days, we had the, the, uh, the whole tracks pretty much there. Um, and when we started to roll into it, his voice just kind of, uh, went out on us. So we went to see a specialist and they told him, Hey, shut up. <laughs> Basically a medic, medic, a medical, you know, deal to say, Hey, you gotta be quiet. He really, he couldn't talk. He couldn't sing. Uh, he couldn't eat certain things. And, uh, you know, he couldn't even hum for that matter. He was, he was under a, where you, he couldn't speak or nothing. And it was scary for us, man, um, because we are brothers and music is what we've, we've done our whole lives. And just the thought of our brother not being able to give his part like he is, man, um, like he has, you know, it just scares us to death. So this record really means a lot to us uh, for that purpose alone, just that we got to finish it and my brother got better. He's doing fine now. Um, you know, he's still a little you know, rough on the edges every, you know, every now and then, but uh, for the most part, we're doing great, man. And, and you know, these songs on this record really uh, say that, you know, we really feel that and hope that people can feel that too, because we try to put something on this record for somebody and everybody, uh, every color, every race, every age, and, and almost uh, a lot of different styles that we uh, kind of messed around with, we threw on this record. Uh, had fun with a couple of tracks with some uh, hip hop stuff guys on there, but there's guitar throughout all of it. For the most part, everything was recorded three piece. Uh, I hardly did any overdubs on guitar just because I've done it in the past and we wanted for it to just kind of go back to the roots with this record as, as us as brothers playing. Um, there's a couple of overdubs, but nothing for the, like you're saying, for the most part, it really is just a, a live um, raw album. Uh, with, a, with a little bit of polishing on it, you know? And, uh, you know, that's the thing about Los Lonely Boys, you know, we're, we're a live band and we don't read notes, we don't read tablature, we've never been able to do that things. The way we learned music was strictly by ear and by heart. And uh, our dad was our, our biggest influence and still is, you know, on that. Uh, when he taught, put a guitar in my hands, and the first things he taught me how to play was with just one finger. And then he goes, go down to the next two straight. And man, my little ears are just like, woo, I'm rocking, you know? And from then on, he told us that the sky was the limit. 
you know, and, and from then on we took every influence and every uh, instrument that we could hear and learn from and put it into our own because, you know, we give thanks uh, and appreciation to our teachers, man, from Steve Ray Vaughan to B.B. King's to Eric Clapton's to Cesar Rojas to Dave Hidalgo, yeah. Chuck Berry, yeah. you, you know what I mean? We, we give our props to those guys and know that when people listen to us, they're hearing those guys too because they, they live on through the young aspiring musicians that want to, uh, you know, continue and leave their mark with music.